for the American audience, for the American people, what is the most important thing that you think they should know about the Palestinian-Israeli conflict and how they can directly help that situation? They just, they should know that the issue is not the existence of Israel. It's not threats to the existence of Israel. The issue is the threats to the existence of the Palestinians. That the situation is not that it is a territory that God has given to uh, a certain people or certain states. God never did so. God never, to the best of my knowledge and your knowledge, I believe, has uh, worked in uh, real estate business to allocate mm -hmm. certain piece of land to certain people. This never happened. And talk about that is absolute nonsense. But what should determine the situation is international law. Is international law. Therefore, there is a state called Israel living within certain borders. The security is a, 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 has to be maintained. But this security should not be at the expense of others. So what is there is that Israel is occupying uh, territories of other people. That, and that in itself is raising a lot of, of tension between in, 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 in the region. Mm -hmm. And the past policies of the United States has made the U.S. pay. Although the U.S. should know and the American people should know that the Arab people themselves are friends of the Americans. And we, we believe, we, have, we never felt hate or, or, or uh, tension towards the Americans. American people or America as America, the United States or even the United States policy. Until we, we have seen this tilt, major thing, as if the Arabs are criminals, the Israelis are angels. There are no angels all the way, no criminals all the way. And I don't think that this picture, this image that has been pushed, nurtured and promoted is correct. The Arabs are friends of America and they can have peace with Israel, provided that Israel also has the political will and the ability to enter into a fair peace. If there will be no fair peace, there will be no peace.